Hello. Hello, you, you were knocking just as I made an establishing shot. Do you mind if I film this, love? Oh, that's all right. What have you bought me? Um, soda bread toast. Soda bread toast. Hello, Kathleen. Aha. Well, that's all right. I, I, thought this would make, I thought this would make good copy. Oh, let's have a slice. Oh, thank you very much. N no, no, I've, I've been up for hours and hours. Uh, hours, yeah. I've been trying to clean the boat. Because I didn't want you to think that I, I you know, ran a, a slack ship of, you know, debauchery and low life. Uh, I, I, you know, I wanted you to think that I ran a tight ship of high standards and cleanliness. Yeah. What? Inside and just sort of, you know, I don't know, see for yourself. No, I don't really want to. Did you say you, you wanted to inspect the cabin? Oh, have a look. Yeah, all right then, have a look. Um, I don't know how much I'll get on camera. If you want to scream, scream. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work out at all, pal. Um, uh, Phil is inspecting the cabin for cleanliness. Yes, this, this is how I make the movers. Oh, it's how I make the movers, and uh, I try and make them as unobtrusively as possible. <coughs> oh, I see. Well, I do. I do think we should signify this on film. Because yeah. I'm here. You know, I'm here with you, Kathleen. You're my mummy-in-law. Yeah, mummy-in-law. And yeah. you, you ordered rum. Yeah. You ordered <laughs> rum. That's the first time. It won't be the fucking last. I don't think. Chin chin. Chin chin. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Oh, there we go. Jesus. Down the hatch, down the hatch. This is terrifying. <laughs> this is terrifying because I can't. I did, I, I, this time the fucking day, yeah. I can't as a self-respecting captain and naval fella. Oh heavens. Uh, here's the good help. Here's the good help. Chin chin. Oh, Got to get this on film. Let's see if I hold it down. Down You're a bad influence, you <laughs> Not just, not just a, a rum, not just a rum and black, a rum, a rum, rum a dum dum. dum neat dum. rum, neat rum, neat rum. Call it, neat. My God, that's insane. I never How are you both feeling? Good. <laughs> I'm feeling great on top of the moon. <laughs> hey, she took the pill. Hey, uh, do rum, 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 do rum, rum. I do run, 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 do run, run. Uh, Philly, darling, um, do, do you have any kind of commentary to give on the day, uh, like the, 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 the terrible state of the boat, and uh, now you're in the Crown, and you've just seen your husband and mammy-in-law drinking neat rum? <laughs> yeah, it's lovely, it's a lovely, um, lovely feeling, a lovely feeling. Wow, <laughs> that captures it all, really, doesn't it? It's a lovely feeling. Lovely feeling, yeah. Not the boat, that's not a lovely feeling. No, the rum's a lovely feeling. Yeah. And, you know, there's a solution to all problems. I do rum, 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 I do rum, rum. I can't Later help. On, show me and my heart sits still. I do rum, 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 I do rum, rum. I do rum, 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 do rum, rum. I can't help but... Sheep, the sheep are on the Running Ella's bilge. Why? Well, I hand her over today. She's going in for a service, and I am going on shore leave. Whoopee. Philly, darling, where are we? Beaudly. We're in Beaudly. Mm -hmm. Oh, bless. We're about to cross the river and see the sights of Beaudly. This is 
what it's like to drive into Bewdley. Oh, bless. It's very charming, isn't it, Bella? Lovely. Yeah. The trouble is, it's just nothing really to do but get drunk. <laughs> There's always a traffic jam in Bewdley. I mean, love, are you happy to be back? Yeah. Away from the village of the damned. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a wonderful place. Oh, uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Very <Charming> lovely. <laughs> we all love it. <laughs> I'm just going to wait. I want to get a shot of the swan. The white yeah, swan. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there are many manky pubs. And we've been to a lot of them. But we have to draw the line somewhere. Not very friendly with the driving. Are they not? No, it's our right of way on their face. Mm. Yeah, that's the trouble with this place. Everyone's so bloody entitled. And so many bloody white vans. I mean, look at that. For fuck's sake. That's it. Go for it, love. Favourite hill to walk up? Get the majesty in. Oh, the Madge? Yeah. Oh, she's still there. There she goes. Oh, fucking yeah. hell. Only just. Which uh, station are we at, Philly, darling? Uh, Highly. 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 Yeah. Right. I think so, yeah. It's highly likely. It's highly, yeah. li <laughs> highly likely. Oh, it's a Class 50, I think. A what? A Class 50, this locomotive. It used to be one, one a day, used to come up to New Street, uh, pulling a train from Reading. It's not quite the same as a steam train, is it, lovey? It's still nice. Yeah. yeah. We'll have a steam train to Batman. Yeah. Probably. Well, hopefully, you might make it's it on. It's electric, right? So we won't have the steam. Diesel. Diesel. So it's powered the same way Ella's engine is powered. Get the steam or not? Go yeah. yeah. Ah, oh, we found one. Oh. Seats. Lovely. Marvellous. <laughs> oh, I remember these seats. It's like it's in the 1980s. Yes. Yeah, these, well, this style goes right back to the early 40s and 50s and before, because this was how, you, how all carriages used to be. But, uh, until, well, obviously, the early Victorian times, third class were quite open, open to the elements. Yeah. How does this compare to boating? This is more relaxing, isn't it? This yeah. is much more relaxing. I suppose there's like, you know, you don't have to worry that you might sink. Yeah, or you could crash. Well, you could, yeah, but it's yeah. not really a responsibility. Um, but yeah, it's just much more, yeah, it's just really relaxing. Yeah. Because with the boat, you're just on it all the time. Mm. Oh, God, do this, do that. What's going on? Are we going to sink? <laughs> there's no help. It does have to sort of... And you can even make a cigarette here yeah. for later on. Yeah. Good idea. Even though it's even more. It's no steam. That's because it's a diesel.
Welcome to Shropshire, darling. Oh, that bridge. Didn't like the bridge, did you? You just got to get through it. <laughs> hey, it's just a bit disorientating. I don't mind if it was going over water, you've got a chance of survival. But there was a motorway, I get dizzy watching the car. It must be my medication drop. That's the word. Fear of heights. Vertigo. 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 Yeah. When I say proper first class carriages. Oh, third class. <laughs> This is a this is an authentic 1936 toilet. What luxury! Yeah, I, I just used an authentic 1930s toilet. And I can assure you it was actually quite a terrifying experience. You've got the communication cord right where the flush would be. And the oh flush dear. is above your head. That's not good, is it? So I was thinking, yeah, I can see a mix-up happening there. I wonder how many, how many times that's happened. I know, yeah. <laughs> not as disgraced as Brennan was when he came on this railway. Well, he, he, he went to the toilet was locked. So he, uh, he used the Victorian rail traveller's method of relieving himself. Which he insisted on. Which he insisted on, yeah. Consisted of? Oh, he consisted of an empty tin of Strongbow. This <laughs> silly fella, what he forgot to do is he should take this coat off and then put it over his legs. Why do you think Victorian ladies always wore those long skirts? Well, we know now. Yeah, we know. Mm. Usually on long journeys they'd have a potty between their legs. <laughs> I 
all right, that posh train should go to Kidderminster. Hey! <laughs> Take that, Kidderminster. Come back. That's all right. I didn't press the wrong cord. You got the right cord. Right cord. You it's easily right... done, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good Lord. Like it deactivates the train. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Disgrace. You'd have to walk back to Beaudley. Very quaint though, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. Old flusher. And, yeah. Oh, I've gone out of man flag. Oh yeah. I love all these. the lighting on. That's going to make indiscretions in the tunnel rather <laughs> tricky. <laughs> they must have known what you were up to. Uh, so what do you think of your first experience oh, it's on the Heritage Railway?
what's uh, what's it like though? How, how does she handle? It's fine, lovely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So there you are. That that is the lady, uh, lady of legend. Did she live up to her name, Philly? She did indeed. Yep. She did indeed. Yep. Goddess of the rail. Oh, marvellous. <laughs> Worthless. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you put a pound in, and it turns it in. turns it into a kind of souvenir coin. Oh, if you've got a penny, let's get real pennies. Oh yes, pennies probably easier. Where you can get, you know, yeah. bread and milk. Yeah. Well, not now. But... <laughs> Tuppence. Well, you can get change from here. Oh, I'll have it then. I'm not sure. I think you stick it in. You see that? This. This is the Art Deco bar. It's natural that we gravitate to the uh, only carriage with a bar in it, but just look at that. An empty bar. Yeah, an empty bar. Uh, empty, empty bar. Larger. We're starting. <laughs> I think. And we're setting off? Setting off. Back to Beaudley. Ah, back to Beaudley. Yep. It was marvellous, wasn't it? It was marvellous. Doesn't it make one to talk like Noel Coward? Yeah. Yes, you feel like talking a lot more like Noel Coward or Kenneth yeah, Moore after a day of bar, the, the guy with the bar, that would be to fruition, did it? No. Yeah. We came all the way into the restaurant club. It was like a little trolley and, you it's know, interesting as well, gin well, and vodka yeah. and cocktail. And they were doling out the drinks in the morning, but not in the <laughs> afternoon. I told you, it's a very difficult railway to stay sober on so, this. So, you know, if they want us to do a survey on the way, I'd say everything it was marvellous, apart from the sort out your refreshments. Yeah, open the bar. Open the bar. <laughs> that was, that was a, up the bar. That was a terrific bar on the Keithley and Worth Valley Railway. Um, the chap running it only had one eye. Lovely fellow though, and uh, because we were part of the Patrick Hamilton Appreciation Society, he uh, gave us all three round of whiskey. That's what you want. Yeah. When we're coming to Arley, yeah. um, you know, as you sort of come under the, foot, the road bridge, yeah. that's not the clearing part, we've got to be installed in here, so I think we're going to be crossing, okay. heading up for us. Okay. If you just keep standing there, we're going to just stand there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll ride at the back, please. Right. Crossing the Arley. You're crossing the Arley. That's all here. That's all here.
I'm here in the rat and I'm waiting for Lancaster to fly through. And this is, it's a very different photograph of trains, I must say. So I've probably only got about 30 seconds, but she should be coming from that direction. I just hope I get her on film. Quite moving. That was. Mr. My uncle David. Here's the great uncle David. Chin chin. Just, well, I don't know. I'm here with Ian. Butley, Butley Tap. Bless. The best pub in Butley. Best beer in Butley. And you've probably got work to do, haven't you? Absolutely. You don't want to hear me prattling on. I'll tell you why it means so much to me to see uh, a Lancaster fly by. Yeah. It's because uh, my great uncle, my great uncle David Halstead Luke, he, um, he served with 103 Squadron during the Second World War and he flew Lancasters. I don't know if he was a wireless operator or, or a co-pilot, I'm not sure which, um, but he flew Lancasters with 103. And his crew, um, his crew won the Distinguished Flying Cross for shooting down a night fighter from their Lancaster which is a pretty tricky feat. I don't think they ever lived to see their medals, because I never, I never met my great uncle, because he was shot down over Hanover um, in October 1943. And you know, Lancasters are so rare, there's only two left flying, and you know, to see my great uncle's aircraft, it, it's yeah, a really moving experience, really moving, you know. Because I never thought I'd see, I'd never thought I'd see a Lancaster fly, and you know that family connection. You know, my great uncle, he flew him. He, he died in one. Yeah, and you know, see, it was, it's, you know, it's emotional. It is emotional. You know, it's quite something. And it's, it's not to do with an old woman in a sparkly hat. It's to do with my my great uncle, who I never got to meet. Because you know, he did his bit. No, you know, Chin Chin is, is my great uncle, is the David.